Hello everybody, it's I, the Waluigi Big Mac. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time, last time we met, last time we managed to, uh, put some, uh, doubt into, into the fact that Maya is the culprit of Mia's death. We, we already know that she's innocent, but, uh, despite all the, despite all the tricks that Edgeworth had stacked against us, we were able to turn things around and put some doubt into that in into that fact. And we also managed to get uh, Miss May imprisoned for wiretapping, which is illegal, you know. Uh anyways, <laughs> before before we begin, uh, I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to say that uh, my my computer has been my computer has been really fucked lately like uh, it's been it's been getting blue screens. Uh, right now, there's two likely culprits. It's either the motherboard dying, or or the RAM is dying. Regardless, I'm going to have to update the sucker soon. So, so I'm not sure how much that's going to impede my ability to create videos. Although, if you're probably watching this video right now, that problem probably, probably has already solved itself because I usually tend to back. I usually tend to. Uh, I usually tend to stockpile videos, so that way I don't have to worry about not having something to, you know, upload. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just let's just say hello to Miss uh, Miss April May. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not you, stinking lawyer! I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the falling Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Have you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. And probably one the first of many uh, jabs at Phoenix Wright's hairdo. Please, you're scaring the security guards. So, what is it you wish to ask of me, th me then? Hmm? For starters, how did you become... How, for starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Well, that man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. The wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Uh, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in, law in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Your attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Uh oh, that does it! Bottom feeding some sucking lawyer! But bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Probably against us. Well, we won't be able to to get her to talk. Uh, we don't have anything to get her to talk. Let's see. Let's go to the Fanco Law Offices. Looks, looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a workover. I doubt there's any valuable clues left. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look around or two. Well then, what about this plant? Mia's favorite pot of plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. The sky's blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. You couldn't cram more legal books in here even if you wanted to. All the cases that Chief worked on are filed here. Hmm, are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. Hmm. Mia's desk. Per perfectly clean as always. The only thing missing is Mia. Hmm. Okay, I don't see anything else I can really... Uh, tap on. I keep hitting... thinking escape. Uh, yeah, so uh, nothing here. We already been to the detention center. Let's go to the Gatewater Hotel, see, see if there's anything. Ah, welcome, sir. Quit the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for pointing you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation 
well, as well, it's the hotel where the murderer used a water, where the murderer used a water tap. We can charge a premium for for the room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I too will become famous. The bill boy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel we're? Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring bring you. Well, let's let's talk for a bit. How about Miss May? Oh, her? S sir, not the bows, but I knew the moment I saw her. She do what I said. Do what? I'm starting to think that the most suspicious person here is this guy. The man with May. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There we are. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo, hmm. And then the hotel. Can you tell me more about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. Is known as Gatewater. I propose we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. Alright, so we need to find a photo. Well, the only place we can go is Grossberg Law. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What the fuck happened to the painting? Huh? Looks like Rolsberg is out today, again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Examine. Wait a second, wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah, it was It was a painting of... I believe it was a fisherman. Wasn't it? It wasn't very... It wasn't a very memorable painting anyhow. Hey, what's this? What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written on the in the pencils on the back. DL6 Incident Exhibit A, DLC Incident DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take uh B. Why would Grossberg have a picture of this man? This might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. I'm just borrowing it. I'll return it later. I think I think we got our uh It's all in mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Let's see, we're not gonna check anything else here. I think I think we got what we need. Uh, let's head back to the Gatewater Hotel and uh, present this. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no, I don't. Without a doubt, that that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I, how about I writ I write a aff, aff, uh, aff, aff, I don't know how you pronounce it, so I I apologize if I uh pr pronounce that word wrong. Swearing that that that's him. An, an affidavit. This guy's way too excited about this. Yeah, let's have him write it. Well, sure, why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write it. God damn it! Stop saying that word. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the. God damn it! Just hurry up and write it. Not even Miss Megan played dumb to this. All right, now now that we got that, let's get let's get you again. Can't you take a hit and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Alrighty. Have a look at this. Look, I said several times, I'm not telling... Oh, look at her face. Where did... Where did you? Aha, a reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. The man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not... Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Did, do you have proof those, that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Hey, guess what? Oh, wait, that's the wrong thing. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Can, can you have a look at this? What's that? The bow boy is... Uh, it, tells, it tells us everything he saw. 
such such as the man who checked in with you. Who was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Uh, push your heart. This is it. No use playing dumb. If indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, if you don't talk, I'm taking I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been, even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with this with his rep reputation. Ooh, fine, I'll talk. You win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. That felt good. Why are you why are you pumping your fist in the air? Now, tell me about the man you're with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering uh, con conglo conglomerate or, or God damn these big ass words. God damn it. Uh conglomerate uh, Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. <laughs> so this is the man that uh, that was with you the night of the murder. I'm I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White, at last, finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Well, we no longer need the bow boys. Uh, let's see, anything else to talk to? Nope. Alrighty. All right. I'll leave. I'll leave you be now. Uh, no, 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 no. Move. We have Blue Corp now. I'm gonna go back to Grossberg and see if he's there. Ah, uh, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! Uh -huh, you again. Uh, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well. You are quite the thing, my boy. Excuse, excuse me? The trial! The trial! He was there. Reminded me of myself when I, was, when, when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through Mia, maybe. It brings me back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. I... It was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I... Well, I... I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you give me some information. So you came to see the trial? Yes, I, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night. You see, I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me and sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things have gone poorly for that girl. If you're that worried about it, why didn't you offer to defend her? I asked you before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right? Mr. Right? No, no, I'm sorry. I just need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that would that would inspire him to talk. The other day, I'm sure there was a big, pretentious-looking painting on that wall. Pretentious-looking? Well, you know. You know the one, I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Ah, uh, yes, well, I got rid of it. Got quite tired of that thing, really. I uh, sold it, you see. Yes, that's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I buy that. What is that being rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I, I don't see how it is any of your business. Please, speak no more of that accursed painting. I get it. I... Hmm. Excuse me. I was wondering about about this photograph. Where did you get that? Give it back at once. I'm sorry to have taken it without your knowledge, but I have to know who is this man? Who was most likely April? He was most likely in April May's room the night of the murder. What's that? What's that you say? Are you quite sure, my boy? What has him so flustered, I wonder? I, I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. He's fallen silent as a stone. A rather large stone. I guess I should return that photo. Alrighty, so no more of that. Nothing nothing else to talk about. Well, time to pay Mr. White a visit.
What's with that surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with the ti title of your pers personage. What the? Your name! What is your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Sp Splendiferous! Perhaps I have intimidated you with my gigantes, uh, gigantesque vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I am, I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp, you know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings brings me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the, with the wordly challenged. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You're the attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter so, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes. This guy's arrogance mirrors off the scale. Alright, well, first thing first, let's examine the room. Statue of a man holding, holding up the world. The blue corpse sign certainly stands out enough. The model for this man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably, but probably too be, beatious. Oh, stop using big words, Mr. White, come on! Be you uh, for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too be you be you uh, for just about anyone to appreciate. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judge's special runner-up, best participation. Judge cooperation awards. Award, special good try prize. Hmm. The word judges and special will kind of stand out. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk? My, my, this is quite the thing. It is bottled on my body, see? Well, does it sleek, rather sure, not inspire you? This is the top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite presidential. And then finally, haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but originals. That, that right there is a bona fide original, worth five million for sure. Hmm. Well, now that we investigated, let's give him a, uh, let's have a chat with him. Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my sec, uh, she was my sec uh, secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she's done. What she has done, you mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather, gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who, who can say? I seldom pay attention to, to mundane details, such as time and place. My motto is... Don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts, to me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say we are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the, co the color blue. I, Red White, a Blue Corp, as the founder and, CEO, founder and CEO named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Then why are you wearing pink? Fantas... Fantabulistic, is it not? That painting. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. Say, when did you get that painting? Hmm, no idea, I forgot. I've seen that painting before, yesterday in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears 
you do not fully grasp your, grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Silch, Zippo, Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for, for an attorney, for an attorney, Grody Burger. What? What? Ah, oof. Ugh, ugh, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what we do in? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For, you, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? In my exposition, the police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your comp compensation. You came here from Grodyburgers, I presume. Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you, then you must ask him, why is that paint? Why is, is that? Why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. <laughs> the fucker punched me. <laughs> I, I don't know why he can fight back, cause, cause if I, I don't know about you, if I if I get sucker punched in the gut, I am. <laughs> I am spear tackling the guy and, and smashing his head into the ground. Is it best excessive? Probably. But you, but you just, but you don't fuck with me. <laughs> well, let's get out back to Grossbergs. Huh? I don't think he knows me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. Ahem! Jump, jumping, jerk, jumping, Jehoshaphat. Oh, you? What's wrong? He looks so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm. I'm I'm not saying all yet. I was just thinking about this old mess. Something's really bothering me. Is that much clear? Two days trial. So you came. Okay. Yeah, we already we already read all that. Uh, Mr. White. So I played. I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh oh. I I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit something has been bothering me. Oh, what, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... <laughs> Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was it, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It, it is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that paint. I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were me as understudy. Perhaps it was fate? What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living th through imitation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of the photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of, of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's a connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, one boy, but arresting Miss Red White would be nigh on the impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. He gives them an iron grip. He owns charge. He owns charges, attorneys, prosecutions, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm them to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Alright then, uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm pretty... Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we read through that. I'm only clicking it just so we can have to check more. Deal 6 incident. What is the Deal 6 incident? Deal 6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spear medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Faye. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the request of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. 
I did her all I did all I could for her and in the end clear her clear her of, of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains all unsolved to this day. That case is a DL6, isn't it? But why were you but why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a region. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I told him. He told Light. He offered me riches. It is it is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the place were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard heard about it and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a closer look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed e his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. That is, um... Good, useful information. If that's the case... Uh, let's go. Let's go, let's go back to the office. It's funny, looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Bro Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. All the cases the Chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Uh, if we're looking for white, it'll probably be through T through Z. T, U, I know. W, white! The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Let's see. Let's just look through A through I. Let's see if there's A record in this file that catches my eye. A, B, F. Misty Faye! That's me and Mai's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Read it. I have tarnished the Faye name, leaving only these words, my mother's vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the powers that runs in my family, I have held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold the information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the, the record stops here. So me and New Grossberg. And then let's look at J through S. Let's see. J through S. Nothing much here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this? Yeah, let's skim some of this. Uh, well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part here is at the end of S. Suicide? Ew! Here's a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on mo on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Okay, so we searched everything here. Well... I I don't know what where, where else we're supposed to go at this point. Like, part of me wants to say we might be. We should probably pay. Uh, part, part part of me wants to say we should probably pay. Uh, uh, blue corporate visit. Uh, no, let's let's go do that then. Whoa, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems that the message has not yet uh, penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, how fair nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Talk. There's no point asking someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence. What's wrong? Is there something stuck to my face? Why, yes. Mm, why, yes, there's my eyes and nose and my mouth. But of course, I jest. No, you no need not res restrain my mere friend. It's okay to indulge in my cosmopolo... Uh, God damn it! God damn you! You using you, 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 these big fucking words! God damn it! Cosmopolitan sense of humor. I, I will not think less of you. 
They're ready. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I, maybe I should show them the newspaper clippings. Maybe. Yeah, let's see what happens if I present this. This is the only clue that Mia left for me. Better make this one clown. Mr. White, see this? It's an article description of a suicide of a politician. He was embezzling, he was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got, got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me, how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia, she had a file filled with, with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You're you're blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You're threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You're involved in you're you're involved in all su all the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, Art. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's phone. Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. Wright. Hmm. Here's the question. Here's the question. Do I say... You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. Wright. Excuse me? What I should be doing is... Is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping taps. For this reason, you had April tap... You have April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all docu documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Se Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that you? What are you calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor? I changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Faye case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quiet, too. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, one other thing. Send me send the police over here right away. The man standing in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The, the executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. The killer man. What? Mr. Mr. White, this isn't another one of those... Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. D did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You're a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How, how dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupidly inept that they make even you look competent. I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir! Ah! Butts! Harry Butts! Right, actually, things right, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was the murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. But what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Very well, Mr. Wrong. And really? Gumshoe is not even questioning it. God damn it. I can't believe it. It's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. What's going to set a trap for me? And the prosecution will be in on it, of course, Edgeworth included. Journey was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. 
Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya! Fu Here's the funny thing! Well, never mind. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ha! Ah, now nah, I'm afraid we've switched places. What you mean, you... I explain what happened to, Ma to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me. Is there anything I can do? Um, well... <laughs> cheer me on in court. Well, you could cheer me on in court. Cheer for you? You mean like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that. Alright, leave it to me. Huh? I better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm, I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know that you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta give it, that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece. Okay, then come to the trial tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day. Most with guilty verdict. Never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true cor corporate appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. To be continued. Well, with that being well, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the content I do, please consider subscribing as I as I really appreciate it and I hope the channel grow. Be sure to like and comment as uh, be sure to like and comment so this video can get pushed on YouTube's very 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 crappy algorithm. So crappy in fact that so crappy in fact that no matter what I do, it's always going to get buried. It's, uh. Yeah, kind of, kind of, uh, that's kind of what I get for being born in 02. But th that's besides the point. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna, we're, we're gonna beat up that Mr. White Man. We're gonna beat him up in court. We're gonna, we're gonna tell him, uh, we're gonna say he's, he's nothing but a shitty liar and blackmailer. Bleh. Uh, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.